Right, so here we are again, um, and we've got an amount uh, to put through, uh, and we noted very quickly this is only 55 mils, a pretty uh, small amount, but uh, obviously that's balanced because it's going through in a very short time, 25 minutes. So this is what we've got to do. Uh, we're going to check what the question says uh, to be given by an infusion pump. So, okay so far. So we set out in the usual way, we've got 55 mils, that's it, to be given over 25 minutes, fairly short time and less than an hour, obviously. But do you remember that our machine, not very bright, it can only deliver in mils per hour. And we've already put minutes down here, so already um, we've altered the sort of calculation. So we've got to remember to convert this back into hours. Okay, you can divide 25 uh, into 55 and then you've got to divide by how many minutes there are in an hour and I think we can safely say that's 60. Uh, but another way of doing it is looping it up the other way, if you remember dividing with fractions you can change that to a multiplication sign and whip in this case the 60 onto the top of the fraction. So it might, makes life a little bit easier. Um, okay, so this is it, they want 55 over 25 but it's in mils per hour, so we're going to multiply by 60. So as soon as you see minutes up there, don't forget to multiply by 60. Uh, this again can cancel down the usual way. 5 and 25 will go 5, and 5 into 5 will go 1, and into another 5. Uh, 1 again. Again, don't forget, I mean, OK, yes, you can multiply that out. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And multiply the bottom out as well. Or you can spot that say 5 goes into 5, obviously 1, but also into 60 it will go 12. Just makes your calculation easier and all you've got to do uh, is, is 11 12. If you know your 12 times table, you could do that straight away. Uh, if you don't, well then just set it out in the usual way of multiplication. Uh, 1, 2 is 2, 1, 1 is 1. Now we're multiplying by 10, not 1, so we have to put a naught in there. 1, 2 is 2, and 1, 1 is 1. Add the 2 together, and we should get 1, 3, 2. So that will be our answer in mils per hour, uh, and we've converted those minutes. So our answer, we can uh, boldly put in here 132 mils per hour. And that's another one you've done.